Community Development Corporation, or a CDC, is a nonprofit organization and it deals with social and economic issues that are prevalent to low income individuals. Um, it was birthed uh, to deal with that and they become certified through the South Carolina Department of Commerce. Um, and once they're certified, they begin doing other activities to deal with the uh, whole man or take a more holistic approach, whether that be in education, economic development, housing, job training, or whatever the case may be. Fresh Start Community Development Corporation is a nonprofit community development corporation located in Anderson, South Carolina, but we cover the entire state of South Carolina. As a CDC, we have the capability of providing not only job training, but economic development opportunities for uh, re residents and citizens of South Carolina. Additionally, for other nonprofit agencies and also for profit entities, we provide consulting, uh, particularly in weatherization and green jobs uh, facilitation. What led us to start Fresh Start CDC was um, probably about nine years ago, we saw the shift in manufacturing jobs to actually nothing. So we began to read legislation and see where the country was actually going, uh, particularly the state of South Carolina. We found by accident that uh, energy efficiency was a, a big area. But the problem that we found was there was no training, there was no uh, individuals or no training institutes locally that provided that type of training. So we began studying and researching and doing our little homework and we began to develop programs to enhance the wave of new jobs that would actually be coming. Because green jobs are so new, there's not a baseline standard for assessments. What happens with the work keys is that it provides a full assessment that deals not only with the testing component, but also with assessing an individual's abilities to learn. And uh, what that en enabled us to do as an organization was to not just look at the credentials an individual has, but also some of the social uh, challenges that may come their way as well. Um, a lot of individuals that we've been able to train are individuals that are unemployed, some that are uh, out of the criminal justice system looking to earn gainful em employment. And what WorkKeys allows us to do is to get a good assessment and allow us to actually place them in high demand occupation and job skills. Our organization, other nonprofits or community development organizations, uh, to be successful, uh, in this new new wave of jobs, I think uh, dialogue, uh, community meetings, and knowing uh, legislative delegation is extremely important because at the end of the day, um, everybody saves money while at the same time creating jobs. And I think once you understand that um, by reducing energy costs, you know we as a country we 're not able to depend so heavily on foreign oil and foreign energy sources so I think that would be the first step. I think it's a second step would be to understand policy from the national level, knowing where recovery dollars are going, knowing how to tap into that, um, becoming trained when it comes down to grant writing, proposal development, and things of that nature so you can become a player when it comes into uh, transitioning uh, the funding there and bringing it to a uh, local level uh, to enhance your ability to provide these programs and services.
I envision our organization being uh, an entity that trains other organizations across the country uh, to uh, be sound when it comes down to uh, green jobs and green energy, uh, to allow them to uh, service individuals that they deal with the most. Because it's, there's a lot of individuals that are falling through the cracks because they're not aware of what is available. So I think I see us as bringing to the light and bring to the forefront these services and how they can, and that's extremely important. I think from a South Carolina moving much of its uh, pushing into because I think the only way it can rebound is to adopt growth. That is going to be uh, years that we're going to be uh, national level. Did we miss anything? Oh, to education know? gaps. Were you going to talk a little bit about? Um, sure. Let me get to it. Education gaps. <laughs> sure, I'm sorry. You came along to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Education gaps. Um, I think the problem when we're talking about education, 